tucked away in the picturesque setting of the Lake District is the Damson Dean. Hello. A typical three-star holiday hotel. What name is it, please? Uh, Mr. Farnworth, Mr. and Mrs. Farnworth. It has a suave owner. I would say that we cater for Mondeo Man. We cater for the ordinary visitor. A creative chef. Hot enough. Would you want to dip your cock in it? <laughs> Me neither. That means it's hot enough. An ambitious manager. I've got somebody waiting. I have given you the list. Yeah, but Check those rooms. And like any quintessentially English hotel, the staff are mainly from Eastern Europe. So, every jebany vesele is the same. They ordered some special bread for me. Rye bread. Right. Rye. Right. No tea. Rye. Right. What is this rye bread? I don't know. Rye bread. Together, they cater for the great British public. This is nowhere near the, like the room there in I have. Who come here for a break, bringing all their baggage with them. If you say that once more, Love right, you. it's over. Cassette. Every day, these two worlds collide. Staff and guests. Room six are complaining about her this morning. With manager Wayne caught in the middle. Are you smoking outside? Absolutely. Right, come with me. Twit. Upstairs. Excuse me, there's somebody in our room using our shower. And downstairs. Either she has to go or I have to go. Hey, Moss. This is life in a British hotel. It's never been seen before. Kiss. <laughs> Checking in this week are the love-struck Hortons, Tom and Susanna, who've chosen the Dams and Dean as the perfect place to get married. Ladies and gentlemen, what are you worried about? The whole thing. The whole thing? The whole thing, yeah. Master of Ceremonies is manager Wayne. Tom Horton's wedding. I dread in it. Who has to deal with a nervous owner. I can't afford anything to go wrong at all. And a fiery chef. Can we not have all the veg out and I'll put it on for you? Get the veg out, George. Let him put the veg on the plate. Will the big day be one to remember for all the right reasons? The day starts much like any other with manager Wayne getting ready for work in his caravan in the hotel garden, which he shares with his dog, Fly. Much love, there's so much love. There's so much love, there's so much love. With my ex-wife, we met when we were 15, as a seven of romance, and then finally got married when we were in our 30s. What happened? <laughs> She wised up and left. I got sunshine. Everything always came first. Work always came first. And it was sad, because she was my best friend. I had loads of questions for him, and I've totally forgotten. So much to do with the ceremony. Oh man's wriggling. Oh, I had to grab myself one. Fifteen years after they first met, Tom and Susanna are planning to tie the knot at the Dams and Dean. Me and Tom knew each other from school. Tom had a crush on me. He was in the year below. <laughs> at school you don't even remember Tom? Not really. <laughs> Sounds a bit harsh, but I knew his face. <laughs> it was a big school. <laughs> There's a big step. It's your wedding day, for goodness sake. You know, it, it, and it has to be special. And, you know, it'll be a once in a lifetime thing. And yeah, I just want it to be right for you. Really, we started from scratch from two years ago. We met on a night out, didn't we? At the bar. She was at the front, and there was five others between me and her. and. I didn't really fancy waiting all that time, so I just leaned in and gave you some money and asked you to buy me a drink, hoping that she'd recognise me from school. Um, she did. And then that was it, and I thought, oh, right. She looked just as beautiful as she did when I was at school. So this is the ceremony room. Lovely. Okay. So there'll be a red carpet aisle yeah. here, okay, and chairs either side. Yeah. 
I'm nervous now. Yeah. <laughs> it becomes a bit more real, yeah, doesn't I can it? Yeah, it yeah, I'm yeah, in the ring. yeah. It becomes a little bit more real. <laughs> I always sort of say to people, you know, the pair of you need to take a moment when the day is going on. Just take a moment and just disappear somewhere, the pair of you, you know, and just think about it because it yeah. goes so quick and you just your head spins, you know. And the view out here is fabulous. Oh, wow. isn't it? So if we get a nice day, we'll get some lovely pictures. We'll have a fabulous day. Yeah. It's going to be. Yeah, it is. That's it what is. we keep saying. The yeah. day is going to be fantastic, <laughs> you know. And because you've got the spa bath. <gasps> oh gosh, <laughs> this could be embarrassing. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Is there anything else you can think of that you need to? You wanted to know if I can give you away. <laughs> yeah. yeah no can I put a little before. pink bow on him? <laughs> That'll be uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so we're probably going to need to have a chat next week. Yeah. Have yeah. you got a wedding on next Saturday though? Yeah, we've got a big wedding on next Saturday. July is peak wedding season at the hotel. It's a fortnight until the Hortons' big day and the staff are at full stretch with a wedding for 120 guests. When we prepare for our, a wedding here at the Dams and Deed, I mean, one of the things that we want to do is to show the hotel off at its best to the wedding guests. And one of the essential key areas is the food. You on time, chef? Half past, we're, we're kicking off, aren't we? We'll certainly be ready. Ready now, to be honest with you. Okay, they're not going to be much longer coming in, so I want them to get on with them starters, all right? If you can tell them in Polish. Yeah. What? Wedding now? No, not now. He wants you to, to just get it all ready so that if he can get them in a bit earlier, they can get them in a bit earlier, that's all. Born and bred in Cumbria, Kirk is the head chef at the Dams and Dean. I've been here a short term. You know, I'm only in the fourth month of working here. It's the first time I've worked with non-English speaking. I was told that I was working with George and Andrew and Cuba. I thought, well, Cuba's not English. George and Andrew sound fairly English, and to walk in to find that everybody's Polish was okay. That's not what I was expecting. So, mamy na miejscu starte. Skąd ja mam kurwa wiedzieć? Na rezydentów. A skąd ja mam wiedzieć? Masz wiedzieć. Idiot. What did he say? Wait, stop looking at each other and fill me in. What are you going to do for a meeting starter? No, co masz na miejscu starte? Spierdalaj z boczeńcu. Mógłbym się uczyć języka, tylko jest to tutaj, tak jak mówisz, trochę utrudnione. Z raz z tego powodu, że, że naprawdę jest środowisko Polaków. Chciałbyś, żebym ci kurwa w trąbkę pocałował, nie? To u was w Bielsku takie modne jest, takie... Tak? Takie... Okej, okay, this is different. Well, you know, I've never turned anything down. I've never turned any anything difficult down. I'll, I'll have a go at anything. So I just thought it's, it's just another challenge. We'll work through it. Are you ready? Yeah. No, you're not ready. Get your starters trade up before you think about smoking. Eh? Get the starters ready first, then you can smoke. No, pytałem się, czy now? Don't talk to me in Polish when I've just told you to do something. No, no, no. Yeah, do the starters now. Get them up now, no. ready to go, and then we'll smoke. Now you speak to me now. No, now. What? Wedding now? No, it's not now! Just get them ready! F*** me, sideways. It's not rocket science. All right, we're going to go with table one. I want one seafood, one cheese salad. That's for the bride and groom. And three... Are you supposed to be having the speeches before dinner? I'm on my sheet, really. Yeah. All right. What you said? You're supposed to be having speeches first. Kurwa mać, no ja pierdolę. Co każde jebane wesele jest tak samo, kurwa. Come on, come on, come on. We're gonna be buried in the shit. Because somebody didn't know what they're having speeches. It's a <laughs> wedding. <laughs> At the end of the day, Wayne is the general manager. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. We don't have to be best of friends. I need to keep an eye on my kitchen. He manages the place, manage it properly. We'll get on fine. Okay, let's go. Chef, did you say two or one had it? Two. Two! 
sorry. Two salmon. No, we've right. sent one. Right, one. she's ready for a haddock. Right. What another haddock, John? Can we not have all the veg out and I'll put it on for you? If we do that way and it goes cold. It's just taking forever. That veg is getting on my nerves in there. Get the veg out, George. Let him put the veg on the plate. Get on my nerves. Oh, what a legend. What a legend. Cheers. Well deserved. I like wedding cake. It's my favourite thing about a wedding. I just think, oh, let's just get the meal over with and let me cut that cake up. <laughs> and if I'm honest, you know, I always nick a piece. Not like half a wedding block or anything, but just a nice big piece. And then normally do a little walk with the dog and then sit down and eat their wedding cake. <laughs> and say cheers. When I came to my interview with the Dams and Dean, they said that the job comes with a flat. So I said, all oh, right, okay. And the manager's flat is, you know, 20 minute drive away. But I hated it. It was too far away from the hotel. And I just felt things were happening when I wasn't here. Since the last wedding, relations between Wayne and Chef Kirk have become strained. With Tom and Susanna's big day fast approaching, Wayne raises his concerns with hotel owner, Jonathan. I think we're gonna have a problem with Kirk. Saturday's wedding was hard work. Is it? So is he going to be able to cope in a fortnight's time? I just don't think he has that, that um, you know, he doesn't direct them enough. He just doesn't, he just lets them get on with it, lets them do it. Was he going around shouting and swearing? But he's always shouting. Every other word is F in there anyway. Is it? Oh, yeah. When's the next big function? Well, it's uh, Tom Horton's wedding. I'm dread, isn't it? I can't afford anything to go wrong at all. When you're planning a wedding, and it is one day and the most important day of your life, and you've paid a lot of money for it, it is important to make sure that your expectations are met. OK, then, what do you have for me? Right, we have 29 soup, 14 melon, 25 seafood cocktail, 26, no, 27 chicken, Yeah. 25 beef, 6 chicken nuggets, and 17 salmon. OK. It's like a girly dream, isn't it? and I'm a perfectionist and I'm just going to stress that everything goes the way I want it, the way I planned, because if stuff doesn't go the way I planned, then that upsets me. It's the day before Tom and Susanna's wedding. Delighted, won't you? Well, I hope so. <laughs> do, 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 you do know that it's pink. Do, you know the bridesmaids are they pink? Don't know the lilac. But oh, well, she chose the colours before she came to see the carpet. Right. Well, it'll take the focus from the carpet, won't it? Yeah. Maybe I can do some stuff for tomorrow. What can we do tonight for tomorrow? So I can do soup. Everybody's wedding's a big deal. It's the most important day of their life. Hot enough? Ah, hot enough. Hot enough. What do you reckon? Would you want to dip your cock in it? Would you want to dip your cock in that? Me neither. That means it's hot enough. I still know very little about the wedding tomorrow. I still haven't seen a menu. I was just told it'll be the same as the previous ones that we've done. No, uh, you're right. We've just left some stuff in the back. Right. Can I just... I've got a note for Wayne. Right. Can I just go and check that everything sure. I've put on the list is 
actually there now. The table's wobbling. Oh, right. And what do you want me to do with that? Do you think the cake will be all right? The cake will be fine on there. Marta, this table won't collapse <laughs> overnight. She's just concerned about the cake. No. <laughs> <laughs> Where can I go for fishing? Freshwater fishing. Fennel and onion. On the wedding? Tomorrow's <laughs> We've just made a white onion and fennel. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Tomato. <sighs> what a place. Hi, Jonathan. Hello. Hello. How, are you? How are you? We're your new staff. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, you're going to be such a good-looking couple. It's really, really well. <laughs> yes. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and the, the hotel's excited. I'm just trying to get my head around the fact that I don't know what the f I'm cooking tomorrow. You know, for 70 people, and I'm just, just finding out now it's a different f soup. It's wedding day. In two hours, 70 guests will be descending on the hotel. Hello, baby. Your clock stopped. Huh? Clock stopped. 10 o'clock, 10 past. For <laughs> sake. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's do it. Hello. Is your clock stopped as well? Your clock stopped. 10 o'clock. In the morning. Huh? In the morning. 10 o'clock in the morning, yeah. Don't panic. <laughs> Jesteśmy ze sobą prawie rok czasu. 16 sierpnia jest nasza rocznica. Spotkaliśmy się tutaj. A kto zrobił pierwszy krok? Do czego? Adriana. Grzegorz. Ty. Ty. Co mi zabrałaś? Uciągnął malinkę wziąć. Grzegorz jest bardziej romantyczną osobą w naszym związku. Przepraszam, ty byś chciała wziąć ślub? Co myślimy o małżeństwie w ogóle? Hmm. Nie wiem, no, rozmawialiśmy parę razy na ten temat, ale to tak nie, jakoś chyba nigdy nie było tak bardzo na poważnie. <grym> ty byś chciała wziąć ślub? Chciałbyś wziąć ślub ze mną? Z tobą? Tak. tak. Go into the thingy and get me out the other long table, please. Another long table? Don't try and lift it, Amos, you're not me. Good morning, I'm Sandin Hotel, Marta speaking, how can I help? Toilet flush is broken in room 12. Room 12 is a bridal suite. Is it room 12 that's got the problem with the yes. toilet? Okay, can we? This, this guy is a plumber. I found him in the car park. Oh. He's our guest, <laughs> actually. I'll just get changed in the corridor, it's easier. Ale to jest sekunda, Kaja. Widzisz, jaka kołdra jest? Thank you very much. Right, we're 
about we getting changed to dress now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the bus is here. Hello, all right. Should I say it's off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called off, the wedding's off. <laughs> oh, this is suddenly getting all very hectic. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm getting nervous now because oh, everyone's yeah. there. Oh, you'll be fine, you'll be absolutely fine. Right, tea. Is this the gentleman that's giving you a This is my Uncle Alan. Hello, I'm Joe. I told you, take deep breaths, girl. You need to control yourself. She's a very loving person. She's funny, very driven, but very supportive as well. So, like, there's been a lot of problems over the last couple of years or since knowing Sue. I can't breathe! I really nervous. There's been some not so good news in my family. My nanny, my mum's mum's taken sort of a turn for the worst and she's fighting uh, cancer. And there's a chance and opportunity for us to give her and the rest of the family something to celebrate this year and having her there will be fantastic. OK. And I'm ready for that. I'm going to start asking people to come through. Ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you to start making your way through to the princess? We wedding ceremony is about to begin. Unfortunately, there's no drinks allowed in the wedding ceremony room. Oh, Jesus. I phoned her up and said, look, I'm only going to ask you once. Will you marry me? So that was it. Big white wedding. Beautiful hotel. It was, um, it was an old Victorian hunting lodge. Dan came down the aisle with the vicar to the th uh, theme tune to Morecambe and Wise. When I see these young people getting married, I just hope they find it, whatever it is, to keep them together. Flush is burst. Oh no! <laughs> you doing it, love? Are you okay? I'm fine. Are you okay? Are you all right? Yes. You do look really nice. I know, but time just got away. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm holding people up. Yeah, <laughs> it's, your, it's your, it's your day. day. It's all about you, nobody right. else. Not so you really. just got to calm down. They're on their way. Okay. Just relax and enjoy because uh, it goes so fast you forget about it. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you right? Oh, look at you, Vision. <laughs> I'm alright. You sure? Yeah. You look fabulous. <laughs> oh, I'm panicking now. Oh, don't panic I'm now. Right. I'll do that. Hey, can I give you that? Yeah. Please. You look beautiful. <laughs> Could I ask you please all to be upstanding and prepare to welcome your bridal party? Okay. <laughs> Squeeze it. <laughs> right, I'd like you to face each other, join both hands and say these words to each other. Tom, you go first. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. Dildo. You can't defrost prawns in hot water, Cooper. Bacteria. Can't use them. Bin. No, you're not listening. How many prawns are left in here? How many prawns are in here? No prawns. All the prawns are in there. Are you joking me? Turn that off, turn that off. No, his eyes. It's not good, you can't use them. They're f you can't use them. You can't use them. I, Tom. Do you take thee, Susanna. Do you take thee, Susanna. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Thank you. And Susanna, please. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Susanna, to witness that I, Susanna, do take thee, Tom, do take thee, Tom, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband. Well done. <laughs> 
The wedding ring is an unbroken circle symbolizing unending and everlasting love. I offer this ring. I offer this ring. Czy tu jest 7, czy tu jest prawie 8 stopni w tej zamrażalce? What's wrong? Kurwa, wszystko się roztopiło. 8 degrees. Ratujmy lody, George. Roztopiły się całkiem. Przekładaj je. Przekładać czy nie? No szybko! No, kurwa, nie wiem czy mogą być, no co? I will share with you in joy and laughter. I will share with you in joy and laughter. Comfort and support you. Comfort and support you. I will remember this day. I will remember this day. And will never allow anything to destroy. And will never allow anything to destroy. The feelings we share for each other. The feelings we share for each other. And I will respect and cherish you always. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> And I will respect and cherish you always. Well done. The rings will be a reminder. I've done extremely well. I've got so much to be thankful for. I am so happy. Because I didn't think I was going to make it. I've just had chemotherapy. And the point is, the chemo hasn't worked. And be so thankful because I didn't think I was going to make it, but I have. <laughs> it gives me greatest pleasure to say you are now husband and wife, and you may kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs> okay. okay, so the next track is can we make sure? They're not having speeches like the last one. All right? Because that was a disaster. Big throw. You're a Horton, come on! I feel like a Wally. Right, you ready? Steady, Steady. Yeah. go! Oh, it's a good one. It's a good throw. Yeah. <laughs> Wayne? Yeah, hello. Uh, do they have speeches? What time? The speeches yeah. are after. After? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Unless it changes. No, no. Do you know, I, they gave me a, a suit from the dry cleaners. I don't think it's mine. Why? Because the jacket is like this, and the trouser is for a short, fat man. <laughs> we have more small tables. Yeah, I just think I've picked my suit up from the cleaners, all right? But I don't think it's my suit. Right, stay there then for two minutes. Huh? <laughs> These are not my trousers. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and give a warm welcome for the bride and groom. Excuse me, please. Thank you. Teraz, jeden seafood, jeden melon. Grzesiek, pięć seafoodów teraz, mamy trzy. Can I, can I just suggest you start, start, start plating a plenty of everything because it's so, there are only three, there's nine tables and only three have been served. Top table are finished, so can, can just keep it cold. Can go, Cuba, go, go, go. And, and, and Martha shouts out. Four soup, two seafoods and one melon. <laughs> Amos, Amos. A seafood here? Yeah. Yeah, there. Amos, come here. You're going to the wrong table. Table three. They said we table. Three. You've got a plan on the kitchen table. You're here. Is that the gluten-free? Yeah. Excuse me, who did order a seafood there? You got lipstick on you. Oh, I got you. Some of the woman branded you. And you mine. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Oh, you have got me. But you always had me. Did I? You did always have me. You've just got me officially. Just want these looking really nice. Bit of pipe cream, nice bit of garnish or something. Or what was you planning on doing with them? Mamy truskawki jakieś albo coś? Nic, nie mamy. Czemu? Nie, nie pytaj się mnie czemu. 
Bo, bo pewnie nie powiedział, żeby zamówił, nie? Powiedziałeś mu? No oczywiście, że tak. No, ja No, no i ten. He said that he did. No i ten. Just said, Wayne just said, pipe some cream on him, yeah, and a little bit of uh, whatever you want. Some mint down in the garden, if you want to run down the garden. Uh, in, the in the garden? In the garden. Where? Down by Wayne's caravan. <laughs> Powiedziałeś, żeby ci zamówił czy nie, bo mówił, że nie. Mówi, że co, że nie mówiłem mu. No to ktoś tu ma amnezję, kurwa. No ja pewnie będę. Garnish for this cheesecake and anything. I just went down to see if I could find some mint. We want some cream, cream pipe in them. Go for it. Show him. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you. No, no, no. Give it to me. Look at that. Looks like dog shit. Good. Have we got any mint in the garden? I've just been down to find that mint. I can't see it even in daylight. Yeah, because some powder on it or something. Can I have one sticky toffee pudding instead of one cheesecake for top table? Cheesecake? Yeah, here. Cheesecake? Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the more formal part of today's proceedings. First of all, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Aaron, Tom's brother and uh, best man for today. Tom has always been a good brother to me. He's always been there, uh, you know, when times are tough and a shoulder to cry on. Uh, always giving me good advice and, of course, filling me in on the birds and the bees. Uh, I do remember one occasion walking into the bathroom not knowing he was in the shower, doing something a little bit strange. I said, whoa, Tom, what are you doing? He said, uh, <laughs> he said it's mine, I can wash it as fast as I want, I get out. <laughs> uh, it's been a, it's a great honour for me to be asked by Tom to be his best man. I'd just like you all to join me in a toast, please, and raise your glasses to the happy couple. May their love last uh, to Tom and Sue. Were you just on zip day? I wasn't impressed with the speech. What? I wasn't impressed with the speech. Who? Aaron. It does not have any other stories other than that. I was, I was like, what? He was doing so well and then that, and I was like... So I was like, all oh, right, great. So you're not considered at all how... How it puts me across <laughs> to my new family. Somebody <laughs> porno. Someone's know. told him what to say. Like, got, someone said to him, "You've got to have," because it's a typical yeah best man yeah, speech. Yeah, of course it, it is. Like, yeah, stupid. with the structure. Yeah, but Christ Almighty, there must have been more than that. Oh, don't worry about it. What are you doing? Where are you going? He, he was very confident. Going in yeah, hmm. he was very confident. <laughs> Are you thirsty? All right. <laughs> Thank you. Get that wedding cake, Father, before you eat it all. Well, I can't believe it. Somebody's nicked a piece. They haven't had any cake yet, and it's half gone. That's gone smaller. No, nobody touch it. <laughs> I get on with everybody. That's my character. Obviously, me and Wayne have had our differences, but it's a high-pressured environment. It's a lot of stress. Make light of it. Sick, don't panic. Same time next week. <laughs> no, angielskie śluby dla mnie są przedziwne. Wesele tak. Musi być ksiądz, limuzyna, para młoda. I wesele powinno trwać dwa dni, prawda? Dwa dni. Przede wszystkim dwa dni się je i dwa dni się pije. No tutaj te wesela jakieś takie są bardzo szybkie, bardzo dziwne dla mnie. Everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. Do they? I wait to have yawn to myself tomorrow though. Because <laughs> I'm selfish. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> Change your mind. 
when does when does the opportunity to a null run out? <laughs> you cheeky. Quick wash, change of shirt, because it was it was really hot and I was panicking yeah. and I was in a state really. Oh, yeah. yeah. What were you worried about? The whole thing. The whole thing. The whole thing, yeah. The wedding. All these people come in for us. Oh. <laughs> it was weird. And it hit home when the coach turned up. Yeah. Trying to sunk half a bottle of brandy. Uh, half a bottle. Yeah. What's that? Ooh. It's a cockroach. You are joking. No. Is it really? Yeah. Right. Right. Can you put that on it and then drag it down the wall? No, are you going to fall? Oh. Just put it over it. Oh. Is it dead? Ah! It's a moth. Oh, it's not a bloody cockroach. It's a moth. <laughs> Outside. <laughs> You'd be a good boy, all right. That'll see you later. <laughs> you have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> swing me round. I'm not swinging you round. I'm swinging you round. Are you joking? <laughs> So he's been fed, he's had a run around, and I stuck him in the caravan. <laughs> he doesn't do too bad for dog's life, does he? <laughs> Right, yeah, okay. You are? Joking. Is it not been fixed? You haven't done a big enough yet. It's not my lover. So when I went to put the jacket on, the jacket was too small, all right? And the trousers keep falling down, <laughs> all right? And I'm thinking, who's are these? Who's are these? Thank you. Oh, it's not okay. Yeah. We got married yesterday. We did? Mm -hmm. Marriage for like... Hours, yeah. <laughs> you still want me, don't you? Yeah. I do, don't you? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do. Yes, 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 I do. Yes
an ice bucket you can fill with water if you just need to quickly flush. We had to decide what this bucket is for, and you're not going to give it back to me, the boy said it's full. <laughs> and I'm going to be carrying your pee around. Oh, disgusting. No, but it's a fun thing, but isn't why it? Why are you shining? Right, I'm going for food before it goes. Yeah. I want eggs, but I'm going to have to ask them to cook them properly. Um, because I'm pregnant, the egg has to be cooked um, fully. So would it be possible for him to cook it for longer? One second. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to explain that I want an egg cooked. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, OK. Right. It's not going well. Excuse me, did you ask about some eggs? Is that all right? Yeah, you mean boiled egg? <laughs> just like that, but um, if you turn it over in, no in five more minutes. How many? Just how one, many? please. No in problem. fact, can I have two since you're making a fuss? <laughs> <laughs> Andrzej, pani jest w ciąży i ona się pyta, czy mógłbyś jej dwa jajka usmażył, ale tak bardzo dobrze. Kobiecie w ciąży się nie odmawia. A to smażone z dwóch stron. Nie, dole, nie wiem, Andrzej. Słuchaj, pierwszy to jest panna młoda, po drugie jest bardzo miła i po trzecie jest w ciąży, więc trzeba uważać. Are they alright for you? That's fantastic. Just be careful, Paige is a bit hot. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think this lady wanted some as well. Yes, I have, I have Oh, have you? I have asked for one egg like that. Oh, I didn't know so. Yeah, I have, I have asked. Andrzej, oh. jedna pani mówi, że też się pyta o takie jajko. Ale gotowane, kurwa, czy smażone? Nie, to takie samo, smażone z dwóch stron. Nagle to, kurwa, wszystkie są w ciąży. Did you like my, my wedding night outfit? He's a new scabby t-shirt. Hey. I'm gonna take the hot chocolate. <laughs> I'm a Horton now. Schemers. <laughs> what? The Hortons are schemers. No, I've always said you're enterprising. Enterprise. That's the first thing I told Mum about you when we met. <laughs> He's very enterprising. <laughs> <laughs> I did. You are though. Mm. I don't want to go in some ways. Mm. <sighs> what does marriage mean to you? Oh, what does it mean to you? Um, just that we're a family now and even though I know I can always rely on you, you're obligated to <laughs> be relied on now. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's just telling the world what we already knew. Mm. I just think it's taking care of you. Aww. Taking care of you for the rest of my life. Best advice I've been given is you only find out after you got married. So, to me, it's more like we'll find out as we go along. With my ex-wife, I think I, would have, like, I should have done more then. I didn't, you know, took, took, uh, I took her for granted quite a bit, I think. You know, I don't think I showed her enough. And I think Dan fancied something. I think Dan sort of realised, you know what, this isn't what I want. And I respect her for that. I don't think if you're brave enough to sort of take that step, maybe I would have been, you know, quite happy to plod on for the next 10 years. You know, Mr. Boring. Come on, baby. Family Horton, let's go home. Should we be sad and get one of those plaques that goes on the front of your house? The Horton. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see how this works. Basically, we just want you to say a few words about your day yesterday, yeah. and then we're going to put it straight onto our site, yeah. the hotel's website. Yeah. Yeah. And so we've had our wedding at the Dams and Dean Hotel. The food was lovely. Yeah. Really enjoyed, yeah, I enjoyed the, food. the food. It was gorgeous, and it was just brilliant. And the uh, decorations. 
photos in the gardens. We've got the pond, the bridge, the gazebo. Ducks. There's ducks. <laughs> <laughs> it was just what we wanted, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah definitely. Right, come on, let's let you get off. Yeah. Thank you again. Thank you. So and if, if you don't come back and show me that Thanks, baby, there'll be Aww. trouble. Yeah, <laughs> All right, you come back. Take care. Fly. Oh, we're going to miss them. Next. Is this today's paper? Vicar gives his blessing to same sex couples. Are there many same-sex couples then in Grange? I wouldn't know. Breakfast is between 8 and 10, and evening meal between half past 6 and half past 8. Good afternoon, the Dams and Dean. Wayne speaking. How can I help? 